Hi everyone, my name is Ashley. I work at Bobby Bullock Medical Aesthetics. I am getting the perfect peel today and super excited. This is my first peel that I have ever taken part of and gotten done on my face. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting it done. Some of the issues that I have, um, discoloration, acne scarring, current acne breakouts, um, a lot of, like I said, discoloration on my forehead, into my cheeks, onto my jawline, everywhere and anywhere. Uh, also with a lot of little um, wrinkling starting under my eyes. So really excited to get this done and see my progress. I will be getting on here and vlogging every day so you guys can see over time what is gonna happen with my beautiful skin. Uh, stay tuned, thanks. Hey everyone, it's Ashley here again. Today is day three of my chemical peel vlog. I wanted to get on here and let you guys know that the peeling has started. So really excited to see this process happening. Um, after I washed off my chemical peel using a light cleanser, I did follow all directions and applied my post-treatment wipe. Um, and then also um, when I did go outside just to go grocery shopping these last two days, um, I applied the SPF 50 to my skin just and wore a ball cap just to make sure I had no sun exposure. Um, I when I have been home, my skin is clean, so I'm not putting anything on it in order for the, um, the peeling to really activate and start shedding. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Right now I'm just sitting in front of my um, living room window so to get some natural light. Um, as you can see, like I am um, in my first video, my skin is very bad, um, but the peeling has started. It started actually last night, um, so that's why the skin kind of looks old. Um, it started, yet, yeah, like, like I said, last night um, before I went to bed. Um, I When I'm sleeping, I'm trying my best to sleep on my back so that I'm not rubbing my face around in the pillow at all. But as you can see, around my nose, around my mouth, chin, um, obviously because I'm constantly moving these areas I'm talking and things like that, that that's going to peel first. Um, you can see just by my touch of my skin, like on my forehead, it is skin that you can feel that it is just ready to come off. So I'm really excited. Hopefully today that will start happening and in the next couple days um, and then a nice fresh face will be revealed and my skin journey will really start and hopefully working really hard and diligent to get my skin um, to be beautiful once again. So hope you're having all a great day and I will check back in with you when I start peeling some more. Good morning, uh, so today is day five of my chemical peel. I wanted to kind of check in again with you guys to let you know where I'm at so far. My skin has been constantly shedding and it feels actually really good um, with using the moisturizer that's given in the post-treatment kit. So when I put it on after I gently cleanse my face um, just to make sure um, my skin isn't getting too dried out. Um, but if you wanna zoom in a little bit, you can see like a lot of where my um, heavy discoloration areas, all that skin's peeling here on my cheeks, it's peeling. Uh, chin is still peeling. The biggest part I'm waiting for right now is this huge piece on my forehead to peel. So um, my skin's looking better. Um, I, hopefully it will look a lot better after all the dead skin is gone. So in a couple days we'll be there, but really excited. Um, my skin feels great, especially the new skin that has kind of appeared and um, can't wait to um, have really pretty skin. Hey everyone, it is now past day seven and I have completely finished peeling. No more peeling happening on my face. I'm really happy with my results. Um, I feel like um, over the process of this week, um, I've seen a big difference in the clarity of my skin and the discoloration of my skin as well. I still obviously have a lot of hyperpigmentation, but this being my first chemical peel, I think it was a um, great step in the right direction. So just kind of zooming in a little bit 
obviously you can still see that hyperpigmentation, but I feel like it's a little muted compared to what it was before. Um, and just with being more diligent um, with drinking water and taking care of my face after this chemical peel, it set me up for success. So hopefully from here on out, um, everything's great. Um, as far as the entire process, it wasn't too bad. I mean, obviously since I was able to be home and not putting on any makeup or anything like that, I was able to really let myself um, and my face peel um, gradually and not was, wasn't picking on it or anything. So I could see how it might be um, difficult if you were putting makeup on and things like that, but since I wasn't, it was a great experience um, from beginning to end. I looked a little reptile-y at times, but definitely worth it. Um, if, as long as you follow all the steps, use sunscreen and the moisturizer when needed and things like that, um, it's really awesome. And I think it's a really great benefit to start off um, and kick off a really good, diligent skincare routine if you're wanting some perfect skin. So um, stop by BBME um, and come see us and get your chemical peel and start off your journey. Thanks, bye.